Well, night number two here at Cyclone is getting ready to get underway here for the SRT Spring Challenge. Excited to kick off another night of racing. Um, we obviously haven't raced um, at Cyclone for a while since last night. It had been like a year since I raced, and even then I raced the OI class. So yesterday was my first, you know, open experience at Cyclone, and we were able to finish in the top five. So I was happy with our results, but. Now that I kind of got the first night out of the way, I'm looking for even more tonight. Um, my goal is to get into the top three, but honestly, another top five finish would be really great. But I just want to, you know, try to be more aggressive because I feel like that's one thing I could have done a little bit more last night was be aggressive. So I'm going to try to do that a little more and, you know, just keep figuring out this racetrack. We haven't raced her in a while, so um, just keep figuring out the racetrack and keep getting our, ourselves better. But we're going to start off our night like normal with qualifying. The only thing different about tonight is the trophy dash cars will not start behind the heat race winners. They will start in front of the heat race winners. So if you win the trophy dash, you're starting the pool of the future. So we're gonna go out here for qualifying and we really wanna qualify in the top six. That way we have a guaranteed top six starting spot in tonight's feature. So qualifying is gonna be up next. cars tonight in the open class so that felt really awesome um this is my first time qualifying quick time in the open class here at cycling so feels really awesome my car was obviously really fast so now we're going to be headed out for the trophy dash because how cycling works if you qualify in the top six you don't have to run a heat race so we're going to be starting six in the trophy dash with it being a full invert so we're going to have to move forward in the trophy dash and wherever we finish in the trophy dash is going to line us up for the feature so qualifying super well for us Quick time is awesome. Now we gotta move forward in the dash and have a good main event. Trophy dash is gonna be up next and we're gonna be rolling off from six. Towards the end, 
But overall, good trophy dash run. Six to two, six to fourth. So we're now going to be rolling off from eighth in the upcoming main event. So same spot that we started last night. Should be pretty good. Um, just gonna have to be aggressive. The one thing I wish I would have done better last night was be more aggressive. So I'm gonna try to, you know, be more aggressive in this feature and hopefully move forward again. So feature event's gonna be up next and we're gonna be rolling off from eight. We've now made it back home, and we're just gonna go off a recap of last night real quick. <clears throat> last night, we were able to finish up in the P5 position. The track was just really hard to pass. Um, I mean, I found it really hard to pass. It was kind of just, you know, top three and four and bottom one and two. Other than that, I couldn't really move around super well. And I don't, I think our car was good. I just didn't feel 100% and just, I don't know, I just feel like I probably could have drove better, maybe be more aggressive, but 
But overall, P5 position is definitely nothing to hang our heads on. It was a great finish. Cyclone has some really, really great competition. And running opens there, that's the best class you can run. So I definitely learned a lot, you know, learned things that I could have done better and, and learn, you know, spots where I made mistakes and, you know, reviewing tape really helps with that. So um, definitely reviewed a lot of tape this weekend and learned a lot. Um, this is our first time racing the open class at Cycling and our first time being back at Cycling. So overall, I'm happy with our results. P5 in the open class for two nights in a row shows consistency and speed. And I was really happy with those finishes. But our car was good. Um, I just didn't feel like 100%. And I think that was just because the track was tough and just wasn't really my best track. But anyways... Overall, a solid weekend up at Cycling, and I can't wait to go back there later this summer. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Lights out.